big race for mayor happening next Huge Tuesday race. in the city of Chicago. So third yeah. biggest city in the country. Lori Lightfoot, the mayor out there, we've talked about her a lot uh, over the past couple of years. She's down in all the polls. The most recent is, poll, she's yeah. in third place. She could lose on Tuesday. Right, which, which would you be would the expect, first sign but it of a cracking Democratic see. empire. It would yeah, be. it's shocking to see that they're actually considering voters in Chicago are looking elsewhere. Yeah. Uh, Paul Vallis, uh, he's a, a former uh, Chicago school, public school CEO. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes. If it goes into the runoff, Lori Lightfoot's out. Um, she actually had the, the gall to tell voters a day ago not to vote if <laughs> right, you weren't going to vote for Lori Lightfoot. Walking Don't that back vote. now. That, that's a great Democratic message. Yeah. Don't vote. Uh, Mason Dixon had a poll. So here are the top issues to voters in the city of Chicago. Again, third largest city by population in the country. Number one, 44 percent crime. Number two, I thought this was fascinating, number two, crime, but they call it criminal justice reform. That was 13 percent. Number one is crime. Right, by far. I mean, economy, just 12 percent, which is, you know, understandable. We see all the crime that goes on in Chicago, but it really tells you the situation when you see uh, crime at 44 percent, economy at 12 percent, because you remember Chicago, like a lot of these Democrat-run cities during the pandemic, they were shut down. Think about New York City. They were City. completely closed. A lot of business owners uh, having to up and leave or close down completely because of what Mayor Lightfoot and, and Governor Pritzker did Yeah, and you think about the, the, the Miracle Mile, Michigan Avenue in, in Chicago. The, uh, the theft that's going on there. A third of retail stores yeah. have shut down since pre-pandemic. That's Lori Lightfoot. It okay, is. for more on all this, want to welcome in uh, Chicago mayoral candidate, Dr. Willie Wilson, back with us. Uh, sir, good to see you. Five days to go. Tell us about the race. Well, I think it's uh, going to be all right. I think that we're going to win it, at least in the top two, unless we win it straight out. It looked, looked pretty good, in my opinion, from what we're hearing on the, on the ground and been campaigning uh, uh, pretty heavily. Dr. Wilson, great to see you this morning. Uh, we're excited to be following this race. It's uh, you know something that obviously is of interest to a lot of folks. Chicago is, as Rob said, being the third largest city. Uh, crime has been something that's really captivated the national headlines. Uh, Lori Lightfoot still not able to get a handle on that, and and a lot of that in due to also to the fact that uh, the police officers there, the the staffing is is so short. Uh, we're seeing Chicago police suicides as well. Mm -hmm. um, what needs to be done in your city to rebuild the situation between police and the communities they serve? Well, the main bottom line is that we, we need to have respect for our police officer, and we need to give them what they need. We need to treat them like heroes, like they really are. We, we need to make sure we're bagging them. We need to make sure we take some of the rules, strict regulation off them so they can chase a person by foot or by car. And, and making sure that they uh, that they got the confidence that we got them covered. Versus if they do something, then they're afraid that they may uh, go to jail or get locked up themselves. And I think this mayor here has done a bad, horrible job in trying to uh, run the department. Most police officers turned their back on her. And so she, she just not good. You have to back your police officer uh, out here. We believe that that not, should not be compromised at all. Yeah. I remember that, Dr. Wilson. The, the police officers literally turned their back on the mayor of Chicago. Um, okay, so next Tuesday, it's going to be all about voter turnout. Odd years are usually off years when it comes to voter turnout. How important is that? Because the, the most recent poll, this BSP poll that I'm looking at here, you're basically tied with Lori Lightfoot in, in that poll. How important is voter turnout next Tuesday? Oh, I think it's very important. Uh, I, I wouldn't. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, I think that's why she asking people to stay at home because she, she she's nervous. Uh, uh, I didn't get a chance to vote until I came up from uh, south to to Chicago, and she asking people to stay at home. Now, according to the polls, now that we check it on a on a daily basis, it, it's it's about even a few wars is doing very well. But I think it's going to end up about thirty five percent. That's what it's looking like now. Uh, it's supposed to be a few warm days coming up, uh, and we're still trying to, you know, get our people out. We're asking people to take them to the poll. You know, to, uh, they can get some early voting in now. Don't wait right. till last day. You well, know, you know what, Dr. Wilson? There's no question your city needs some change, and we look forward to following this race. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, Dr. Willie Wilson. Good luck. Thank you. All right, folks. Yeah.